What's up guys, this is Cage Limited, and today I have another episode of Ratchet and Clank Feature of Crack in Time for you guys. And last time we basically used Clank, went into our head and met our father. Yeah, stuff happened, and now we have this Time Scepter. Oh, Clank's pissed. We have this Time Scepter, I don't know if that's the name, that's what I call it. And basically we could fix things with it. And the senior caretaker wants me to come with him, or the junior caretaker, I'll be with them, just wanna explore if there's bolts or anything here. I don't think so. But if there's anything broken, I can show you what it does if you weren't here last episode. I don't think there is anything, but I'll show you later on. Watch out, sir. Let's go fighting action. Yeah, so like, if you didn't see last episode, uh, we were in our own head. And basically, uh, Orvis, which is Clank's father, taught us how to use this time scepter, how to slow down time with these time bombs. Yep and do other cool things we had to fight a few enemies and yeah so let's go break these and getting bolts i can't remember but i swear there was a gold bolt on one of these sides like a place that looks like this and one of the sides there was a gold bolt i just don't remember where or when it comes hmm. looks like the hollow bridge is out you may have to find another way across your past cells can throw time bombs too just remember only one can exist at a time it's for your own safety. And if you don't remember what these buttons are, it's basically the challenges I was talking about last episode, where you could make holograms of yourself. So, example this. I go here, throw a time bomb. And then I press that button. And basically, I could go again. Oh, wait, do I have to? Okay, wait, let me kill these guys fast. Okay. So now when I start this one, that will do what I need it to do. So it'll throw the time bomb for me. And it will press the button. So let's go. And uh, like I said, there's another challenging aspect already. So basically you have to kill these enemies before... See, he even helped me fight. Uh, yeah, you have to kill those enemies before they touch your hologram. So that's one of the challenging things that's going to be added to these... Holy shit, that's a, that's a shit ton of bolts. Oh uh, yeah, so that's one of the challenges that's going to be added to this, and there's going to be more like that added later on. How the hell am I going to make that? I got it. No, no, no. Okay, I got it. I swear I like triple jumps right now. Now here's another challenge. So you can see already Clank's time is mostly going to be these type of challenges. Uh, some of them are really like a pain in the ass after. See, now they added another aspect to it, where we are raising and lowering platforms, which gets really annoying after. Now I have to re-record this one and lower it for him. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, I had to get off the button with the blue one so I could uh, go up. So the blue one's going to get off. And now I'm free. Okay. Before the Let's Play started, I actually had to replay some of Clank's part. For some reason, it didn't save. So I have to start like Clank's part over and come back here. But ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Okay, now a bigger challenge. Okay, so this. And then get off. I don't think I'll have enough time to get there, but let's try. I can do it. Shit, okay, nope. Okay, so with the green one, I'm going to have to wait before I do it. That's good time. Now do it. That's good time. Then get off. So you can see in the future how like specific you're gonna have to be about your times. Like you're literally gonna have to be uh, right to the second. Like stay off it for maybe two seconds. Stay on it for three seconds, and like that you're gonna have to be like real careful. I can make it. Yeah, there is triple jump. Okay, I don't even knew that. I press this button, opens the door. Uh, this looks hard to you, this isn't even like, this isn't even hard, because right now it's only two buttons. I swear like in the future of the game, uh, when you get farther in the game, there's like three or four buttons too, so yeah, it gets much harder. Now let me do this. Let's go. I don't know why there aren't any broken things yet. Like, I remember them being so much broken parts here, like you could just fix with your time scepter. I'm not seeing any broken items, unless you have to like break them first. Which wouldn't make much sense. Let's get bolts. 
Okay, right here. This is an example. Okay, so see, this is broken. Basically, when you hit it with your time scepter, time reverses and fixes it. This wasn't really a cool example, but if it was like shattered glass, you would actually see time reverse and get itself fixed. Holy shit, the bolts, please. So I guess after every challenge, you get bolts. Okay, look. Okay, now this is a good example. Yeah, how that basically reverse, that's what happens when you hit stuff with this. Which is pretty cool, you get a decent amount of bolts and it just looks cool. Yep. Okay, so let's advance. Advance. Warning. Unauthorized sonic device on approach. Yep, he's high. If I just time bomb him, can I just... Yeah, can I just time bomb him and beat him? Let me see. If I do have to fight him, I'm not sure. Do I have to fight? Yep, it's a boss fight. Let go. Oh, shit. Yep, I saw him down. Sick. Okay. Kick his ass. Oh, shit. Oh, that's massive amount of damage. Holy shit. Plank giving the work. Oh, shit. What's around him? Oh, God. Okay, that's bad. Let me move that away from him. Let him do what he needs to do. Oh, God. Turtles, please. Oh god, more. Rough reason. I think I got the. Oh shit. Janitor, please. Okay. I really love the um the fact that you could actually play as Clank in this because with Ratchet you're just overly really just shooting, uh, but with Ratchet you're forced to use melee. Because when, I mean, with Clank, you're forced to use melee with Ratchet, you uh, you have a wrench, but no one really uses it since they have guns. But with Clank, when there's a boss fight or anything, you're forced to use melee, so it's a nice switch when you get a switch between the characters. That was amazing, sir. You think you could show me how to fight like that one day? Let's try this again! Night of the Living Squishies, Act 3, Scene 4. Ready on set? I should never have quit dental school. And action! You'll never take me alive, Quack. Time is under my control! Oh, am I interrupting? Lawrence! I'm rehearsing my epic romantic action comedy, Space Opera! Silly me, sir. I just thought it prudent to tell you Clank is en route to the Orvis chamber, sir. <laughs> Splendid! The moment we've been waiting for is now. Now, if there's nothing else to discuss. There is one small matter. <laughs> I don't have the capacity for love, Jess. I was cursed by a tribe of gypsy ninjas when I was a kid. I know, Lance. I was in that tribe of gypsy ninjas. Ah! They cannot be allowed to meddle in our plans! Track them down and annihilate them! Very good, sir. In the meantime, might I suggest engaging the safety so as not to kill any more troops? It's not even loaded, you moron! Look! <laughs> Next! The Vila Sector. Okay, back with Ratchet. I've been doing a bit of investigating, and it looks like Azimuth lives in a decommissioned mining robot on Torrin 4. Got it. Thanks, Quark. I'll head over there now. Yeah, so now we have to find a person named Azimuth. Very interesting name. Hold on. Oh, that's how you boost. Okay. So was R2 before. That's how you U turn. No, not. Okay. I was wondering how you did that. Okay, so we go on this planet over here. I saw Quark was with me, how, why is he contacting me? I can't remember what happened last last episode or something. P 
Planet Torin 4. Modernoth feels Russia has been mistaken for Alistair Azimuth. Oh, that's why. Okay. A rebel who has been causing trouble for Dr. Nefarious and his mercenaries. Yeah, so that's why Nefarious is pissed at Ratchet. He thinks Ratchet is this other guy whose name is Azimuth, so we're gonna try to find Azimuth and try to settle things. So, right, oh, Ratchet's pissed. Come in. I just landed on Torn 4. Do the Fungoids know where I can find Azimuth? And here you can see in this planet it looks more barren, uh, unlike the other one, which is really nice green and uh, like a jungle forest type area. This is much more barren, more desert like, which is uh, what I love about the planets in this game. It's like each one is based on a different type of biome, which I really love. Like each planet basically feels different, no, no planet feels the same, which I really like and appreciate. And invisible boxes. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna collect all bolts here. Now let's go. I think this is a planet where we obtain the hover boots. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Because if we do find Azimuth here, we should be obtaining the hover boots. Since he teaches you. Put this down. Let's go up. Okay. So far, it's going good. I didn't die too much time. So like, who the hell? Oh, yeah, this guy. Sounds like shit. I'm looking for a Wolgram Pass. I'm just here to see the sights and every business. Shh, I think it's the first one. Dangerous place. Sounds like a level 4 pedophile. What do you know about Flint for Salon? Do you know about Dr. Nefarious? I don't think we have to talk to him, so I'm just gonna leave him with his business. And he has a wrench too, just like Ratchet's also. It blows up. And let's go. Hey. When you do this with Clank, like the trampoline shit, he sounds so weird. Oh shit, was that an enemy? Oh, I, I just kicked his ass by accident then. Oh, right there, yep. Oh, they're much shot. Wait, what am I doing? See, I'm used to using Clank. I forgot I have weapons. How do you shoot again? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit, these guys are much stronger. Took a few hits. Okay, I thought that was an enemy. So they're just transforming. Okay, everything seems good. Seems good here. So I thought that was a bolt. Oh, now I remember this world. It's gonna get annoying after. The obstacles. God damn it, it takes way too long. Oh shit! No. No, no shooting. Please. Okay. What's that going to do? Okay, yep, Zircon come, come right here. Yes. Yep, everything is much easier with Mr. Zircon. And, yeah, so... Oh shit, the face. Outsider. What business have you in the hollow? I'm looking for Volgram Pass. Volgram Pass. Where the exile dwells. It is beyond this hollow. But we do not grant entrance to outsiders, they must find it for themselves. Asshole. Okay, so we have to find it ourselves. So, oh, don't you notice that? So let's find it ourselves. Oh, Zoni, please, no, did I get it? Hey, okay, cool. Yeah, see, like Zoni are gonna be spread uh, across the galaxies and planets, so yeah, you have to collect them. So, yeah. Okay, now a puzzle type thing, what? Oh, okay, now, now I see, I, I see you. Can I pull that back? Do this real quick. Oh, what? That's, ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> pull this, don't jump, pull that. I didn't know you could do it from here before. Man, okay, good. Yeah, now this is the bullshit I was talking about. When you see this, you could already smell the bullshit. And yeah, so... 
I'm going to end the bullshit over here. So this is the ending of this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, share, favorite, do all the good stuff. And remember the possibilities for Ratchet and Clank are unlimited. Later. Thank you.